On June 13, 2012, Matt Cain of the San Francisco Giants pitched the 22nd perfect game no opposing batters reach first base in Major League Baseball MLB history and the first in Giants franchise history. Pitching against the Houston Astros at AT&T Park in San Francisco, California, Kane retired all 27 batters that he faced and tallied 14 strikeouts, tied for the most strikeouts in a perfect game with Sandy Koufax of the Los Angeles Dodgers in 1965. Following Philip Humber's perfect game earlier in 2012, Kane's performance marked just the third season in MLB history in which multiple perfect games were thrown. In June 1880, Lee Richmond and John Montgomery Ward both threw perfect games. In May 2010, Dallas Braden and Roy Halladay both accomplished the feat. Two notable defensive plays by Kane's teammates kept the perfect game intact. Melky Cabrera made a running catch at the wall in left field in the top of the sixth inning, while Gregor Blanco made a diving catch in right center field to start the top of the seventh. It was the first Giants no hitter since left hander Jonathan Sanchez threw one on July 10, 2009, against the San Diego Padres at AT&T Park. The Astros were no hit for the fifth time in franchise history, and the first time since Carlos Zambrano threw a no hitter for the Chicago Cubs on September 14, 2008, at Miller Park, Milwaukee, moved from Minute Maid Park because of Hurricane Ike. It was the second time the Astros were no hit by the Giants. Juan Marichal did it on June 15, 1963. It was also the first time in Astros history that no one reached base safely. Kane surpassed his previous personal best of 12 strikeouts in a single game, which he set in 2006. Kane's 125 pitches were the most thrown in a major league perfect game. The Giants recorded 10 runs, the most by any team in a perfect game. By scoring a run in the fifth inning, Kane became the only pitcher to have scored a run in his perfect game. The final out was made by Astros pinch hitter Jason Castro. Castro chopped a 1–2 pitch to third base where it was fielded deep behind the bag by third baseman Joaquin Arias. Arias successfully made the long throw across the diamond to first baseman Brandon Belt, who then tucked the ball in his back pocket before joining his teammates on the mound in celebration. Statistics <laughs> 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 Linescore Topic Box score Topic Other information HBP Arias Joa by Hap Pitches strikes, Hap 86 to 53, Cruz R 28 to 15, Chedeno 40 to 29, Kane M 125 to 86. Groundouts flyouts, Hap 3 to 0, Cruz R 3 to 1, Chedeno 6 to 1, Kane M 6 to 6. Batters faced, Hap 23, Cruz R 8, Chedeno 10, Kane M 27. Inherited runners scored, Cruz R 3 to 1. Umpires, HP, Ted Barrett, 1B, Mike Muchlinski, 2B, Angel Campos, 3B, Brian Runge. Weather, 59 degrees, clear. Wind, 13 miles per hour, out to CF. Time, 236. Attendance, 42,298. Aftermath Kane's cleats, hat, uniform, dirt taken from the pitcher's mound, and a ball from the game will be included in an exhibit in the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. All four umpires signed a game ball for Kane, and Belt gave Kane the ball used to record the final out. According to Bill James's game score statistic, Kane's perfect game tied Sandy Koufax's perfect game for the most dominant modern era perfect game. See also List of Major League Baseball no-hitters <laughs>